Hello everybody, this is Mateo, and welcome to the finale of Let's Play Crash Bandicoot. It's about time. There's been many fails and many deaths, but now we get to take on Dr. Neo Cortex. Yep, so here we go. He's going to shoot a whole bunch of bullets at you. You want to make sure you spin into the green ones. The pinkish ones, he's going to aim straight at wherever you are. And the uh, blue ones are going to move across the screen. You want to make sure you dodge them in that first round. And this one as well, they're either, they'll either be uh, above or below you. However, eventually they're going to start moving in a type of wave pattern like they are now. Um, the bullets, or whatever you'd call them, the energy balls, I guess, have a really big hitbox. It's kind of awful, especially since I'm dropping so many frames in this battle, which is just fantastic, because I need to be able to see, and I don't want the final battle of all things to lag out. Pretty sure I closed everything, but really just want to dodge all of his strikes, spin into them as needed. Sometimes you need to hit multiple... Uh, green ones in order to uh, have them go back towards him and kill him or at least hurt him like right now we need to hit a total of three of them however I'm pretty sure that once you hit them the green bullets will not be able to hurt you even if you jump into where it looks like they are so that's three hits now we still have one of our Aku Akus <laughs> kinda messed that up oh well did I no I did not lose the other one okay now he's going to shoot like mad at you and you want to try to hit, actually hit one of the green ones. It killed me. And then you're pretty much done because his last hit is just the very first one's green. You hit it and then he's done. Also, when he gets up close to you like that, he has this really weird red eye. I'm not sure if he's supposed to have that or not. Because, I mean, sometimes it looks like he has it, but then other times it looks completely normal. And in the future games, he doesn't have a red eye, so I'm guessing it's just a graphical glitch or something, which is odd. Oh, I missed the other one. Okay, well, we have to go through another round of this. But it honestly isn't that hard. I mean, just gotta do some clever jumps and dodges, and that's pretty much it. Definitely the challenge is actually getting here, but fighting him, not as bad. So just be prepared. Now the balloons are going to go in waves again, and if I could actually dodge them, that would be great. Don't try to jump over them. Just walk under them, and you should be fine. I was going to shoot like mad. I'd suggest uh, starting at one side and actually paying attention rather than looking at the corner for whatever reason once. And there we go. He's going to shoot the green one. He hit it straight at him, and he's done. There you go, Crash. Goodbye. Not Crash. Cortex. There we go, we got the yeehaw, and we beat the game. Oh boy, Crash got his girlfriend back. Yay. And that's literally the ending. I'm not kidding. Ending, not overly fantastic, but you feel extremely accomplished by the time that you've completed all those super difficult levels, especially when you get 100%. So, that's it technically, but we still have to do the hidden ending, so I'm going to save the credits for a minute. So I'm going to cut all this out once I stop talking, and we'll go check out the hidden ending. So, be right back. Okay, we are now back. However, this time we are going to go to the Great Hall. If you remember a couple videos ago when I mentioned it, uh, we can't really do anything here until we have all 26 gems. As you can see, there's a gem going off in the distance. Uh, but we do now have all 26 gems, so let's go ahead and take this extended gem path, and... and... die. Uh, couldn't go even the easiest level in the game without a death, I guess. So now that I got that out of my system, uh, let's just go ahead and go. Really, it's extremely easy, and look, there's... Tana in the background. Why did I forget her name for a second? Oh uh, yeah, look at her posing for that picture in Cortex's castle. I'm going to need to have a word with her once I save her, except I already saved her. So I'm going to go have a word f from her, a word with her, right as I finish this little thing. Oh, hello, I'm going to go have a word with you now. 
and she's on one of the eagle things from Slippery Climb, and then we ride away into the night. And that's the hidden ending, although there's a little bit of stuff afterwards, so we're going to go ahead and quickly do that. And I'm pretty sure the credits show again, I hope so, otherwise I'm going to post-commentate over the credits that already played after we beat Cortex, and go with that. Yeah, we get to see uh, what happened to all the bosses and stuff. And, like, Papu Papu, uh, got money and he opened a big shop. Which you can read it all. <laughs> and Ripper Roo got therapy. Um, he went to a university and discovered evolution or rapid evolution or whatever. Uh, Koala Kong is in Hollywood. And he is working with a speech therapist to improve his diction. This stuff is just funny. And he is still working on that butt of his, yeah. And he's just muscly in general. I feel as though his legs should not be able to hold up his the rest of his body. Uh, Pinstripe um, operates a sanitation company. That's ironic, him being a rat and all. And he, his goober national campaign. Pretty sure that means that he's running for president or something like that. Oh, God. Um... Yeah, Cortex disappeared, and Brio apparently is a bartender now, where he mixes drinks and chemicals into the drinks or something like that. Maybe that's why I got into science. I guess. Okay. Un until next game. Yeah, harder to squash than cockroaches, indeed. Uh, at least until the sequel. And we do get credits. Okay, good. So I can cut the other ones out. I thought we got credits, and we get a... Slightly better looking credit sequence. We have Crash riding away triumphantly on the Eagle v Vulture thing and Tana as well. Tana looks extremely happy by the Crash looks extremely happy by the way. Well, I guess he did save his girlfriend, so yeah, there you go. But anyways, about this project. Honestly, it was a bit of a train wreck when it came to gameplay. I failed a lot. This is definitely the Let's Play with the most fail in it, and it's probably going to be that way for a very long time. Um, but it was still a lot better than what I thought it was going to be. Like, I thought I'd be cutting out every, like, five seconds, uh, which didn't happen all too often. Like, the only time that it really happened were in the very late levels, where I'd, like, get to where I was, make, like, five seconds of progress, and then I'd die and cut again and go from there. But it was a lot better than what I thought it was going to be. Uh, it, it, it is a very difficult game, especially if you're trying to 100% it. If you're not trying to 100% it, it's, it's still difficult, but not nearly as difficult as what it is if you're trying to 100% it. And it is a lot of fun if you have five bucks on your PlayStation Store, get this game. Although I'd probably suggest the other two sequels more. Uh, go ahead and get it if you want it. I personally really enjoy the game, despite its extreme challenge. And you feel really triumphant once you complete the entire game. So, with that, we have 100%ed and completed Crash Bandicoot. So, I will see you all in the next project, which will start tomorrow or the day after. And it is going to be Banjo-Kazooie. So, I will see you all then. Goodbye.